When I was growing up, we had three choices. We had the down, I'm very old. <clears throat> Almost dead. <laughs> At which point I'll become iconic. <laughs> I'll become a dead white European woman. <laughs> Dwoo. Dwoo, yeah. <laughs> I invented the term dwem, dead white European males, because that's usually where I hang out. You know, uh, that's my, my culture. Uh, but where was I? <laughs> oh, so in this world, when I was growing up, we lived, we had three choices. We had the downtown composers, mostly run by John Cage. We had the midtown composers, mostly uh, led by Aaron Copeland. And then we had the uptown composers, run mostly by Milton Babbitt, but initially by Schoenberg. Milton Babbitt was in this video, right? So those were the three, cho three choices. Now we have, God knows, 50 choices of all kinds. And tonight, it's really wonderful to participate with three very different artists uh, from three different cultures. Um, and so I, I congratulate you for trying to put us together. <laughs> it's a difficult thing to do because we live in a world of compartmentalized music in a way, in a way. So this is, this is unusual that you put such three different cultures together in a way, songwriting, improvisation, and I'm the traditional composer, <clears throat> I'll warn you. I didn't used to be. I was a maverick when I was young, but now I'm very traditional. <laughs> I'm kind of like the dinosaur. I just learned how to do attachments. <laughs> uh, um, and, but, um, I, my story is very simple. I love working with comp composers. No, 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 I love working with performers. I had two wines. <laughs> I love working with performers. They're my um, midwives. Uh, and if I write a strong enough piece, it becomes, it, it has a life through these performers. I have to go through the page to get there, which these other guys didn't. <laughs> um, it's a very different culture because the page is a very um, defined, it's like an architectural blueprint almost. So you have to put your soul into this hourglass thing that's incredibly precise thing. And it has to come out on the other side with some kind of reality of what you imagined. It's not an easy uh, path, uh, but I've been doing it all my life. I grew up with the Dwems, the dead white European males, who all wrote notated music, but in fact, they were improvisers. Um, that's how they got to be so good, actually. And, um, but I grew up with them because I didn't know any better. And then when I went to college, they asked me to write a piece. At 18, I wrote my first piece, and it was a disaster, a terrible piece. And I was like, what went wrong? What did I do wrong? So I spent the next 60 years <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it work better. <laughs> so I've had a very, very rich and rewarding life dealing with performers who are on the page. They're reading the page. Um, and I want to introduce the first one, who is this really, really gifted young violinist, Bella Herzova, uh, from Bulgaria. And she's, she just premiered this piece. She's one of these uh, young violinists who makes a difference in one sense. She has a hot shot career going, but she's commissioning six composers to go along with her many performances. And I was very honored to be the first uh, so please welcome Bella Herzova.
for our memory, right? You notice that? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic performance. She's, that's about the seventh time she's played that. So it's, it gets better and better. And I change it. <laughs> uh, could you mind putting that up an octave? You know? <laughs> no. Just kidding. Um, so the last performer is a, a pianist that I've worked with many, many, many years, Ursula Oppens, who's kind of iconic in the, yeah. And in fact, uh, when I, I, I try to put performers and composers on the other side of the page. So for all my 40th, 50th, 60th, 70th birthdays, I had performers, no, 50th, 60th, 70th, first one was composers. Um, I had performers write for my birthday. And they were like, what? <laughs> you want me to write a piece? I said, yeah. You know, it's just a birthday thing. It's nothing serious. Well, I, I don't compose. I don't compose. I, I don't know how to compose. Well, we'll just try it. So they did. And um, Ursula was one of them. And she wrote a fantastic piece that took five of my pieces as quotes. She had played five of my pieces, and, and, and she put quotes inside. The unfortunate part was that she's also involved with other composers, <laughs> <coughs> like Carter, Chevsky, and I forget who else. They got kind of made their way into the piece, too. But it was a fantastic piece, and uh, so please welcome this is a short piece called Or Like an Engine, based on a John Ashbery poem. Uh, please welcome Ursula Oppens. <laughs> Thank you. 